Hey everybody, Paul here from Nailed It Guys, and I've got a new brand for my channel for you. It's a Victorian varnish swatch and review. Now, Victorian Varnish reopened on August 1st after all the Polish Beauty and Expo craziness happened in July, and I was so anxiously awaiting to place an order because there were some things that I had seen on the lives that I wanted to get my hands on, and they were going to have a couple of the extra. Plus, they had a stamping plate, which is steampunk inspired, which is how this brand's actual... Um, their vibe is very steampunk, which you will see, uh, and it is so much fun. And so I placed an order on August 1st. Now, Tammy, who is one of the nicest people I've ever talked to over the interweb, was like, oh, I'm gonna send a couple of things for you to swatch for us. And they sent me the Fallen Skies Trio and the Cog of the Month with friends like these, who needs an enemies, which comes with this adorable sticker. So if you are not familiar with Victorian Varnish, they are a US-based brand. They ship to the US and Canada and they are five free. Now for some quick disclosures, uh, Tammy sent me the Fallen Skies Trio and the Cog of the Month as kind of gifted PR. And the rest of the things I will be showing today, I purchased um, as soon as that website came up on August 1st. So uh, disclosure number two, if you are new to my channel, uh, I happen to be colorblind. So you may hear me name a polish yellow when it's like lime green, or I'll say, oh, look at this beautiful blue and it's green. But yeah, I'm colorblind, but I am always sure to read the official descriptions from the maker so that you know what the colors are. <laughs> Not what I'm saying. But I am so excited to bring you all these fun things from Victorian Varnish. So let's check out everything. For today's swatches, I'll be using Mooncat's Hardcore Base Coat for my base coat after going in with Hollow Taco's Peely Base. The first polish I have to show from Victorian Varnish's September releases is the Cog of the Month called, with friends like these, Who Needs Anemones, which comes with this adorable holographic sticker. Now this one is described as an orange base with orange to copper shimmers, blue ghost flakes, and navy hollow glitters in assorted sizes. This polish is inspired by Marlin's joke in Finding Nemo. Now you can see in this first coat how I went pretty hard and fast, but that's because I saw this in the bottle and needed to get this on my nails. Those blue ghost flakes and those hollow glitters were gorgeous. Now I get a really nice opacity here in just two coats. The formula is gorgeous jelly formula that really lays down evenly. And you can see here it does dry down a little flat, so you're going to want to use that glossy top coat. Today I'm using Mooncat Speed Demon top coat just to bring out all those shimmers and make those ghost flakes and flakies shine. Now this one you're going to want to use a peel off base or the soak off method to get those glitters out. But check out with friends like these, who needs anemones in the direct sun? This next set of polishes I have to show you is from the Falling Spaces Trio. This first one up is Exibits, which is described as a beet juice maroon tone base with loads of warm toned Aurora shimmers in red to orange. Now this formula for this trio is spectacular. You can see how evenly and smoothly it goes on and look at that opacity. For most people, you'd be happy with this in one coat. I go in for that second coat just to give it that plumpness and get those shimmers to really come through and to even things out and get that extra bit of saturation. Now you can see here in that second coat, that opacity is just 
Chef's Kiss and this one shimmers are so warm and I just love the color. It's so fall and so gorgeous. Now you can see here, it does dry down a little satin. So you're gonna wanna use that glossy top coat, but this one will be easily removed with acetone. Now you're gonna wanna check out how beautiful this Ixie Beats is in the direct sunlight. The next polish in the Falling Spaces trio is called Pod Snappery, which is described as an edamame olive green base with loads of warm toned Aurora shimmers in green and orange. Now this color green is usually the shade of green I steer away from. However, since it does have those orange to red shimmers in it, I was gonna give it a chance. Now in this first coat, you can see it does dry down a little bit patchy. So I do go in for that second coat just to give it that full saturation and get that really nice opacity. Also in that second coat, those shimmers start coming through. So the color kind of started warming up to me. And then I went in with this glossy top coat and those shimmers started popping through, especially on this middle finger. And I was like, ooh, okay, this one's pretty. The color combination is gorgeous. And then I used a topper on it, which you will see later on, and it sold me. But check out Pod Snappery in the direct sun. And the final polish in the Falling Spaces trio is called Tinkle Torium, which is described as a mustard gourd yellow base with loads of warm toned Aurora shimmers in red to orange. I also wanted to make note that the name and the inspiration were provided by Nathan Hammer, which is at my guys nails on Instagram. So definitely go follow them and check out their swatches of the incredible Victorian varnish polishes. But you can see this yellow is gorgeous. I love how it builds up. You can see in this second coat that it really gets a nice opacity, but I do go in for a third coat just to even everything out and get that full saturation that I love. You can see I'm going in for this third coat here. And this yellow is just gorgeous. And yellow is such a hard color to mix, but those red and orange shimmers play so well off of this base. Now you can see it does dry a little flat, so you're gonna wanna use that glossy top coat to really bring everything out. And Tinkle Torium is a gorgeous formula. And just like the other two, you won't need that peel off base. It's easily removed with the acetone. But check out Tinkle Torium in the direct sun. Now it's time to show you some of the other fun things I got from Victorian Varnish. This first item up is one of the cog panions and it's called Kraken's Artenta Cool, which is described as a bright pinky coral shimmer with some gorgeous flakes. And that couldn't be more true because look at those gorgeous flakes popping out on the nail just in this first coat. You can see this has a really nice jelly formula and those flakies are all over the place. 
I do build this one up in two coats and it is so much fun. You can see this second coat gets a really nice opacity. Now, the other fun thing about this polish is that it comes with a companion, which you saw at the beginning, that adorable little octopus with his top hat and little monocle. They fit perfectly on top of the Victorian varnish nail polishes. Now, you definitely want to use this glossy top coat to really bring out those flakies and the shine. And this one, you're going to probably want to use that peel off base or the soak off method so you don't have to fight with those flakies. But check out Kraken's are tentacool in the direct sun. The next polish I saw and immediately had to get off of this Victorian Varnish website was Moonbeam, the IGP topper. Now this topper is $12 and this will turn anything into an intergalactic planetarium. This one is loaded with violet and blue Aurora shimmer, blue and black multi-chrome flakes, and a host of rainbow ghost flakes. Now this topper literally can go on anything. I started putting this on every polish that I swatched just to see what it does. Now you can see here what it does over black and later on you will see it over black and white in my full hand swatches. And then I wanted to play with that Falling Skies trio. So here's one coat over exhibits, which is quite fun. You really see the purple and blue shimmer and those ghost flakes coming through. And then I did one coat over pod snappery. And this, like I said earlier, is what sold me. The way that green base pops through this topper, I was like, okay, this color is so unique and so gorgeous. I love it. And then I went ahead and did one coat over the final polish in that trio for Tinkle Torium, the yellow, and this was another stunner. This one just gorgeous and I love it over this trio. Now since there are a lot of flakies in there, you're going to want to use that peel off base or soak off method, but you've got to check out the Moonbeam IGP topper in the direct sun. The next item I immediately had to put into my cart was this steampunk inspired stamping plate. Now I have recently gotten into stamping and love it so much, so I had to try it out. So I decided to put the Victorian varnish logo on my thumb. And that was the first time I was using the stamping plate and I was able to pick up that image really well uh, for my skill level. So I love this stamping plate. And I was able to get this beautiful little V on the stamping plate, which will be 1050 and is still available on the website. And finally, I had to pick up this adorable mini travel kit, which is only $5 and comes with this adorable little travel suitcase. There's 1.5 ounce lavish hand and cuticle cream and 1.5 ounce potion body lotion. And they come in mystery scents. I got peach blossom, which was a beautiful peach and floral scent. And then I got orange you just a slice, which was a really nice citrusy orange. And these cuticle and potion lotions were perfection. 
So yeah, how about this vibe for Victorian varnish? The steampunk is so cool and I cannot wait to dive into that stamping plate and to do some really fun nail art, maybe with some glow in the dark stuff, who knows? But let's get to the pricing for the upcoming trio, Falling Skies and the Cog of the Month. So the Cog of the Month with friends like these, who needs an enemies, will be $12 for a 17 ml bottle. That's right, 17 ml bottle. Uh, and will come with that adorable little sticker that's like holographic and really cute. Then the Falling Skies Trio will be $30 for the complete set, or you can get each individual polish for $12.50, all in a 17 ml bottle. They will all be available on Friday the 13th, so definitely check out the website and check out all the other fun things like Moonbeam, now let's get to my top pick since I've already mentioned the first one. It's Moonbeam, this topper. Oh my God, I literally put it on every manicure for like a week after I finished swatching something. I was like, what does Moonbeam look like on it? Swatch, watch, watch. Oh, I love it. What does Moonbeam look like on it? Swatch, watch, watch. I'll try to pop up. I did take a couple of pictures, so I'll pop up a couple here and there if I could find them because I was like, ooh. Ooh, click, click. Um, but I wasn't like saving them like I usually do. But yeah, Moonbeam, this topper. I mean, you can see the fill line there. It's already 17 ml, more like 13 ml at this point. So yeah, Moonbeam. And then from the Falling Skies trio, I actually was drawn to Tinkle Torium. This yellow is so pretty and the shimmer in there is so pretty. And I know how hard it is to make a yellow, so my admiration goes to Tammy for creating such a beautiful polish. And actually, the whole trio looks so good together, and I really kind of want to do a gradient with them because I feel like it's really nice fall vibes. And then maybe throw a little uh, stamping plate over them. But yeah, those were my top picks from all this fun stuff I got. Well, plus the stamping plate and the lotion things because that little suitcase was everything. But tell me what do you think. Have you ordered from Victorian Varnish before? This was my first experience with them and I love it. So I'm definitely going to go back and visit. But give a like, give a comment, and definitely describe. And when you're leaving that comment, tell me, are you going to get the Cog of the Month? Are you going to look at this Falling Skies Trio? There's a lot of other new stuff coming out soon from them. So tell me in the comments what you're going to get. Tell me if you have anything from Victorian Varnish. And tell me what you think. Because you know I love replying to all the comments to all the videos. So, you know, like I said before, like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you at the next Swatch and Review. Bye.